follow up on with from local FBI agents, local DCI agents, and and local law enforcement that assists us across the nation. Sure. Are you any closer to identifying details of a person or a suspect of interest? At this time, uh, we are not. Uh, but as I said, there's 200 people in this building behind me combing over evidence uh, still, looking at things that were picked up yesterday, uh, looking at video, continuing to review that 911 call, and I know we keep going back to that. Um, but any tip can bring Jamie home at any one time, and I can't stress that enough. Sure. And Sheriff? Yes. Following up on that other question, there are billboards in other states. Do you have any reason to believe that she has been taken out of this area? We don't know that answer. That's why we made this a nationwide search, and uh, we can't thank the billboard companies enough. The gas stations uh, have her picture up, the trucking companies. Uh, we've done radio shows, um, serious radio, trucking shows, anybody out there with any information. Uh, should call our tip line. Sheriff, any specific, any specific evidence that the, you know, there was obviously a very, you know, emotional plea there directly to Jamie. You have continued to say she's alive, she's out there. Is there any just shred of evidence that, that has, has proven that point in the last 10 days? Uh, you know, I won't comment on that, um, but we believe Jamie's out there. Jamie's endangered, and we need to bring a 13 year old girl home. Sure. Yes. Um, no question. So you're saying through all the forensics that you've done up to this point, you've not been able to come up with a single suspect? And if not, what is your next step forensically to try to establish and maybe come up with a suspect? Well, that's a joint answer because the forensics are wor being worked by all agencies involved. And we continue to look at that information and assess it. And when we have a viable avenue, we will follow it. So no, sir, you're saying no suspect. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying what we have, sir. I'm saying what we're doing. But no suspect then. Again, sir, I'm not saying what we having. I'm saying what we're doing. Sheriff, any it, credibility to the conversation this woman had with some locals in town to for Jamie's disappearance at this gas station? It was printed in a couple of online publications. Uh, we continue to follow up on leads just like that, and uh, I'm not able to comment on it. Anything Sheriff, from the yes. heart, are you curious why um, your office has at least, at least still pictures of these cars that you've been discussing, if not the actual surveillance itself? Our evidence team uh, felt that those photos that we released were um, what we were looking for uh, because we had such a, l a large make and model. Uh, years, or, I'm sorry, year strat or year span that they wanted to release stock photos. That then came from our evidence team. Yeah, sure. Anything on those vehicles? Photos? There's a lot of tips coming in on the vehicles. I would say um, probably since we released that, the last uh, up up tip up tick and tips have been due to the vehicles and locations and sightings. But don't yes. ask your vehicles. Earlier today, we saw some items being taken out of the house. One of them a mattress. What happens to that? Does that become evidence? That we had another evidence team go back out to the scene today to make sure we didn't miss anything. As we said, we keep combing over evidence, looking for new things. Um, we have a, we had a new team, a new set of eyes come in today and go over that house one more time to make sure nothing was missed. Um, they did remove some items, and those are being processed to see if there's any new uh, ev been, items of evidence. Have you been able to determine whether, at this point, through the evidence you gathered, whether it's somebody known to Jamie or not known? As soon as we know that, you'll be the first to know. Sheriff, that's a follow up on that question about you just had a new team that's coming on in for evidence that was taken out today. How much does it help to have a fresh set of eyes to take a look at that scene to come on in that hasn't been seen for the last nine, ten days? Well, and that's why we did that today. That's exactly the reason why we continue to bring fresh eyes. And when we have to rotate people out, we've had people here for days, and, and we that also brings them up to speed with the case. Uh, so when that comes in, we look at that. We said, let's try this piece of evidence, and then our evidence team goes over it. Sure. Yes. The other day, you said that of the, the other day, it was 1,300 tips. Of those, 1,100 have been closed out. Have you got a number, a new number today for, of the 1,550 tips, how many have been? 1,250 have been closed out. Sheriff, have you closed off any further looking at the terrain around the area? I mean, weather is going to become an issue right. now. Are you done with that as far as what you think might be? We're reviewing both the terrain and the weather. Uh, that's part of our, our, our meetings that we have with our evidence team, and we continue to look at things like that. But, but are you, do you think you're done with that? At this time, our evidence team and our tip have required, uh, don't require us to go out and search, but they continue to review that with every new tip that comes in. You talked about cars on the road uh, that you want to hear from. Is there a direction of travel, anything else that you can? We asked for both directions. Thank you for that clarification. Again, we're looking for anybody that was on Highway 8 on that early Monday morning from 1230 to 130.
to help us with that investigation. Again, you're not a suspect. You're you're maybe had seen something on the side of the road that you don't realize you had seen. That's why we ask for any tip that come in. Please use that tip line. Changes in behavior, changes in driving, changes in vehicles. So, but thank you. We'll give you updates tomorrow via Facebook. And again, the reward portion will stay out here for your photos. Thank you. Thank you, sir.